This could be changing everything for crypto and you, I, and the entirety of the decision makers should wake the frick up. Brad Gollyhouse himself said quite recently, hoping the decision is a wake-up call that Congress needs. This ruling directly undercuts the SEC's claims that nearly all tokens are inherently securities, likely to set a positive precedent for other digital tokens in the US. And in reality, even though they're trying to make this all seem like a big victory for the SEC, it was a massive win for crypto holders. Remember that, guys. Don't let these people brainwash you. Having said that, <laughs> Make sure you press that like button. I'm not trying to brainwash you. I'm just trying to, you know, ask you to press that like button before we move on with the video. Because like I said, right now, the, the roads are being paved for crypto to get into a better state in the US. And I personally think that an investigation into the SEC is necessary. Gary Gensler thrown out. William Hinman, and Jay Clayton potentially fined for some conflict of interest and for some proper rules to come in hot. And in this video, we're gonna dive deep into everything that's happening because I still find it all so peculiar that the SEC is claiming this is a victory so we have to make a lot of things clear it's so strange to me that most mainstream media is choosing the sec side even fox is choosing the sec side on this it's insane which is why i kept shouting again i'm so proud that there are some people standing up and actually stating what it is like jp morgan the analyst over there and again here even u.s congressman richie Torres, who is requesting separate independent investigations into the sec because that gang is what it can call it should not be allowed to operate the way it's currently doing and it goes a little bit deeper u.s lawmakers are calling on congress to pass a crypto law following the sec versus ripple ruling again it's not only huge for xrp this is huge for the entirety of crypto and could change everything for crypto because it's the first step along the way what cryptos are properly regulated only xrp it's the only crypto right now and I've got a video prepared here. I haven't recorded it yet, but I, I'm going to talk more about the actual utility of the XRP ledger and why I'm so excited about it, non-hype-wise, just why what they're building is so amazing. And part of that really convinced me yet again also that the way in which it was built was designed for all this to happen. They called XRP a bank of coin for so long, a centralized piece of garbage, yet look <laughs> which crypto came out victorious and is the only one that's been given the thumbs up basically in the US. And again, that's not following the SEC's opinion, that is following the freaking law. Now, to back up my claims of explaining to you guys just how manipulated the space is, and they really want to keep crypto on a low fire, which is why I believe they shut the rally down here. Uh, first of all, it was because of this fear because the mainstream media did not want to give it the attention nor the confirmation that Ripple really won. But the same thing applies for the Bitcoin ETF, right? Right now, there are split decisions where some are saying it's not Bitcoin's true vision and some are saying it's the next big thing. They're giving you all this fear out there, at least as far as I know. And here's also the presidential candidate, Ron DeSantis, saying the Federal Reserve actually wants to get rid of cash and cryptocurrency. You see, so that could literally be happening in the background that they're not allowing for the massive gains because they want to get rid of this industry. And again, it makes sense, right? It's extremely hard to make money on cash, but every single bank transaction you make, they make a fee on and they can track and they can check. How can they block you from spending money <laughs> if your money is not with them? And talking about all this fear, right? I already talked about it a little bit, that they're trying to install fear in you and say, okay, but the SEC would just appeal. Or no, the SEC actually won this, that. Or the institutional sales is such a big deal. Well, is, is, look at this article, right? Even if they were to appeal some decisions and not everything is going to trial, not everything is appealable, the SEC could be waiting years to actually file the appeal in the Ripple case, said by Brad Gollinghouse. According to the Ripple CEO, the filing of an appeal by the US SEC would only further solidify the judge's decision that XRP is not a security. Because right now, as a matter of law, the law of the land right now, it's that XRP is not a security. And until there is an opportunity, for the SEC to file an appeal, which would take years, frankly, we are optimistic. And the point they're also being, if the SEC does not sit down to make some proper rules in the meantime, which I don't expect they will, what exactly is going to change the moment they go for an appeal? Because the SEC lost and they're sore about it, most likely, which is why they're trying to spin it as a win. But like we've all said, Garlinghouse explained that this confusion actually masquerades as power to the SEC, but has prevented innovation from happening in the US. Quote, the SEC has been trying to put power in politics over what is really just sound policy and providing clear rules of the road, he stated.
adding that it has put uh, put made it difficult for U.S. entrepreneurs and investors to participate in the crypto market and blockchain technologies. I mean, yeah, a lot of people in the U.S. are having more struggles than every other country in the world. For example, right now, as I said to you guys, I'm giving away $500 in my little crypto giveaway, right? I'm not even sure how this works for U.S. people. I think it was already claimed, though. I think 50 people signed up within like a couple of seconds. But as I said before, because I see demand, right, for people to get some XRP to trade with, I think I'll up this to $5,000, meaning a lot of people who are joining right now will actually get a little bonus in XRP. There might be some hooks and eyes to it where you might need to deposit something to actually get your bonus to make sure you're a real person and stuff. Otherwise, somebody might just make 10, 10 different emails uh, and claim $10 every time. But trust me when I say that I will take care of every single person watching my channel loyally. I've said it before, we're doing massive giveaway campaigns. Right now, the market was really bad, so we put that on a little fire, a little pit. But in the bull market, I think, again, we're going to give away at least $100,000 to my followers in the span of a couple months, all right? I really like, a lot of people don't know this, funding people's crypto journeys. And the reason it, I have that passion, so to speak, is because I started making crypto videos because I won a crypto giveaway. So please understand, I really want to help you. Anyway, to continue on about my manipulation charade, right? There's also what just happened with Coinbase. The judge in the SEC v. Coinbase case has been extremely interested in, in everything and and she's actually mostly been on coinbase's side with regards to nearly everything however coinbase had to pause their staking services in four u.s states following regulators orders in california new jersey south carolina and wisconsin it required a pause now that's kind of funny right that jp morgan at the same time says the xrp court win is also in for coinbase and everybody is excited about coinbase everybody is overzealous but then the moment that everybody gets excited all of a sudden, a bombshell in a negative light is also being dropped of Coinbase having to stop this and that. It's just a coincidence to me that it's exactly on the same day we get such positive news. There also had to be some additional FUD, some additional negativity. Again, a lot of people like David Swartz even were saying they should have bought some Coinbase stock the moment that the Ripple lawsuit settled. But what happens right after? Well, the Coinbase stock tanks after suspension of ta uh, staking in four U.S. states. It's really interesting the way the manipulation works right here. It really makes you think about it, right? It really makes you think. And I'll give you guys a hint here about my video of utility a little bit later. Just here's Bearable Bull, for example, and what he posted of a lot of different reasons why XRP is going to be doing so well. XRP is not a security. XRP and Bitcoin are the only cryptos with regulatory clarity. XRP did not hit an all-time high last bull run, so it's likely to go higher. This one, a Ripple IPO is looming. ISO 2022, FedNow, Bricks, and everything will be live. And additionally, a liquidity crisis is looming for XRP uh, to help solve. I've got a juicy video about all that coming out later, so stick around. And as I've said before, guys, if you like these videos, make sure you press that like button too. And I always recommend to have the notification bell on for in case something crazy happens later today or tomorrow. Who knows, right? That's why I always tell people, put that notification bell on. And I'll also say, if you're not following me yet over on Instagram, make sure you do so right now. I'm thinking of doing another cool giveaway just for some Instagram or potentially TikTok followers or so. Let me know down below if you think that's a good idea. Or actually, let me know over on Instagram if that's a good idea. Maybe just give 100 of my followers $10 or something like that, right? Just something to hopefully kickstart some people's careers. But let me know what I should do. I'm thinking of a couple different options. And trust me, you don't have to do anything. I'm just saying I like to help the people that are around me and that are the true people. I don't know how to explain it better. Just the... Uh, real people you know anyway here's something interesting from representative mike flood take a look at what he said uh this decision is an enormous victory for the future of digital assets in the united states and american innovation now that chair gensler's spurious legal argument on xrp has been discredited it's time for congress to act where the sec and chair gensler have failed we must pass a digital assets framework that provides meaningful regulatory clarity, fosters innovation, and protects American investors. But like I said already earlier in the video, there are going to be a lot of players who are not trying to let that happen. They probably don't want a framework because that would recognize it as too real. They want to keep it on a low pit of fire so they can destroy it easier. Like, for example, the Federal Reserve, uh, following presidential candidate Ron DeSantis, that wants to destroy this crypto space. And maybe for that reason, also, there's so much misinformation. I mean, I, whenever I look over on Twitter right now, it's just insane. The amount of Bitcoin maximalists and just misinformation that's being spread with regards to XRP. Not, we're not going too deep, but DAI said, One of my guilty pleasures, watching depressed Bitcoin maxis downplay the significance of XRP being the only digital asset with legal clarity. Reminder! Bitcoin and Ethereum have only ever had what I call 
personal opinion clarity. The opinion of a person or the people currently running the SEC and CFTC or Bill Hinman, not legal clarity. Understand that XRP right now is the only one. Really, it is the truth. There's no crypto like XRP. You can even argue that Bitcoin does not fall into the same category just quite yet. Do I think that Bitcoin belongs there? Certainly. But is it there? Not really. I mean, for example, what's stopping um, the SEC now from approving an XRP ETF? It's really hard to say, right? Because it's not a security. Should be good. Should be fine. Anyway, there was a lot said in this video and I don't want to go too deep, but I will go and say what John Deaton also had to say. Wrong again, right? Their allegations and their, their claims. Ripple was granted summary judgment on programmatic sales, which are on exchanges. There won't be a trial on that issue. As again, they're trying to say, oh, but it's all going to go to trial. Oh, it's not over. Oh, Ripple didn't win. Oh, this, that, this. The trial is just on whether the two executives aided and abetted Ripple related to institutional sales only. Again, the only issue up for debate has to do with institutional sales, which we, as the XRP community, don't have to care about because XRP is fine. Ripple might get some fines. Ripple might this. Ripple. Who gives a crap, right? Even at the start of all, all this, we said, if Ripple has to pay fines and the SEC wants to play their game of, well, we won because Ripple, did, that's all fine. Yet the way a lot of these Bitcoin maxes and crypto guys make it seem, it's as if the XRP status is now worse than before. Trust me when I say that this is not level you know, one or something. No, they take this to level 9,000. There's also Eric Voorhees who said, nobody is championing XRP as an asset or Ripple as a company. We are, however, championing a legal victory against the SEC over an important issue that affects the whole industry, whether and under what circumstances digital assets uh, constitute investment contracts and thus securities, to which Moon Lambo and I have to state, of course we are celebrating the XRP victory. What? He's making it seem as if, oh, this is good for crypto, but we don't care about XRP, etc. Why? Why is there so much animosity? I don't understand it. Which is again a response to these guys who are even more negative on the situation. Crypto is reduced to championing Ripple, the most utterly useless, docile, inconsequential succubus of retail money. How hilariously embarrassing. And Ben said, not just crypto, but Bitcoin too. Begging to another game at the Wall Street Casino. Willingly take the bl bit of BlackRock. It's all Bitcoin TM, just as far as the eye can see. You know, all I have to say about that is if you're mad over Ripple winning, you are against freedom to transact. And I'd say if you're mad, you probably didn't have enough XRP. You're probably just salty that XRP won. <laughs> you might just be salty that all these people who said XRP is going to come out victorious in this lawsuit were actually right. Because you know what I noticed? A lot of people that looked at my face and laughed at me, I didn't see them text me right now. No, tr trust me when I say a lot of people did. A lot of people text me, hey, congratulations on your XRP, whatever. A lot of people didn't. And they're probably posting out there right now, you see Ripple lost like I said it would or, or things like that. A lot of people are just salty, guys. Accept it. Things are about to change, though, as right now, the way in which the system is set up, I know they're trying to destroy it. It seems they're trying to... Get onto crypto with an iron fist through Gary Gensler, potentially the Federal Reserve, etc. Because if we really take a look at the analysis, even JP Morgan states it, even Mark Cuban states it, it's all extremely bullish for XRP and for crypto, but they're trying to downplay it. Now, because of everything that happened here, though, there have to be new laws about crypto. There have to be new rules. And they're going to try stall it for some reason. They're going to try again to get around it. But with the new investigations into the SEC, we've also got Chair Gensler going to speak in front of the Senate Appropriations Committee Wednesday. There has to be something that happens. People can't deny this any longer as the confusion is now too great. It's at an all-time high. But you know what I think about the whole situation, guys? Slow and steady wins the race here. Even though we could get in over our heads completely and go absolutely insane and everything right now and again point our fingers at the sec for being nasty because they are let's just see it like this ripple one we all know it and soon enough i think the price will also show it as the utility will shine and a lot of the utility pieces we just mentioned briefly which i'll talk about later today in another video will also shine through and prove so many people wrong i'm just playing the patient waiting game right now because i know what i hold XRP is not at all-time high just quite yet, but I still believe it's going to happen. I still think from every perspective, XRP is extremely undervalued, and all I can say is, let's go to the freaking moon together. I'm patient.